Hi Christopher, hi God First Family. These really are extraordinary days. I've never known anything like it. It's loads of fast moving information, so we're gonna try and keep this video super short for you. Um, as you know, uh, we're in uh, working from home, but we're actually in the office together, keeping a safe distance, which is always a good idea. Uh, and um, so we're gonna be doing that uh, as we go forward, so you will be able to contact us at home rather than in the office. Just want to say first and foremost, this is not a time, as Christopher said on Sunday, it's not a time to be anxious or fearful, it's a time to put God first. As Paul writes in Romans 8, what shall we say in response to these things, these things that we're in now, if God is for us, who can be against us? What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or danger or sword or pandemic? No. In all these things, we're more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, nor the present nor the future, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. So we really, really want to make sure that we dig deep into our roots, into our foundations of the love of God. And so that's really important. Yeah. Howard, what can you tell us? What's the plan for Sundays going forward? So we're going to have no meetings, no Sunday meetings, no small group meetings, uh, no, no meetings of any kind officially from, from God first. So as we heard on Sunday, as I said, it, you know, reading from Ecclesiastes, this is a time to gather and a time to scatter. This is a time to scatter. So what we're going to do is we'll probably think in a couple of weeks or a week's time about how we're going to do Sundays. It's going to be probably online. Uh, we're probably not going to do a 40 minute sermon. Uh, we're probably going to send short content, some things to reflect on, some things to work through is, as families or as individuals. So we're going to do that. It's Mother's Day uh, this Sunday. So if you are going to see your mother, if that's okay, be careful, follow the guidelines. But if you are seeing your mother or you're spending time with your mum, uh, do that wisely. I'm going to post a, a, a really short uh, reflection on family and the importance of family. And we've got a surprise video. I think Lena's got a surprise video for us, which will be online. That'll be online at our YouTube channel, God First Cheltenham, which we'll send you a link to. Okay, so that's Sundays. No Sundays going forward. Christopher, what's the God uh, First Communities plan? Great. So to be clear, there will be no God First Communities uh, for the foreseeable future. This is clearly a massive departure from our, our normal practice, but it is a, a huge opportunity for us to, to exercise what it means to be the church scattered into our communities. Uh, please do make a plan to use the, the vast array of social networking tools uh, available to us, WhatsApp, groups, uh, video chats, Skypes, uh, all of those things are available to us. Let's use it to the maximum. If you are uh, connecting uh, as individuals, these are wonderful tools. These are wonderful tools for us in parts of our community, maybe threes, you can continue using that, um, in, as, group, as small groups within our G1Cs, our, our uh, God First communities, or even God First communities that are, as a whole. There are multiple ways of doing this, so let's get creative together. If you're not connected to God First community, uh, First point is, please do email me and I will help you get connected in. This is a key time for every God Firster, to be connected relationally and, it's, uh, and to enjoy the benefit of community, uh, albeit online community, but also a way for you to be a blessing to one another. And what about pastoral care going forward? Yeah, very key. Um, there are clearly those who are already self-isolating for good reason. Uh, there will be those self-isolating going forward. Uh, we've also got um, single parents, we've got uh, those in the high risk categories, um, people living alone. So we want to really be front footed in trying to serve them really well. So if you are self-isolating, please, as well as your, uh, your God First community leaders, please let Howard and myself know uh, so that we can serve you excellently going forward. Howard, uh, in terms of individuals and families, what's our plan? Well, it's funny, I and mean, I've been bored for the first time since the, the invention of the internet. So uh, we're going to have a lot of free time. You're going to have a lot of free time. And we understand to start with, you might just breathe and think, oh, that's fine. 
But I think going forward, if this is an extended period, we really want you to kind of pull up the chair of spiritual disciplines, stand on that chair of spiritual practices and reach for Jesus, the cookie on the shelf. Jesus doesn't know how to be isolated. He doesn't self-isolate. He's always close. He's always there Excellent. for us. And so I want us to learn to dig deeper. So you yeah. might say, I'm going to read the Bible survey. I think there's two more weeks till we post the next one. Read the Bible survey. Do that in the morning. Text out your group. Text out the other. But maybe in the evening you might say, I'm going to read a, a bit of Jesus, I'm going to read a chapter from the gospel in the evening, you might want to read a good book, or, 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 or so listen to some content, a podcast, we'll send you information of those kind of things you can do, or you might just want to say, I'm just going to dig deeper and just take some time to just practice the presence of Jesus. So I believe we're going to come out stronger if we use this time well, and I'm confident we're going to do that. Yeah. I think there's also missional opportunities, what do you think about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've often spoken that the world doesn't feel, uh, in that because the world doesn't feel broken to many people, uh, they don't feel like they need a savior. Well, clearly that is changing uh, as we speak. Um, the church has always been really courageous in the face of national and global uh, challenges. And honestly, this is our time. Um, what an opportunity to bless not just our community, but our community at large and introduce them to, to the God who gives us hope and peace uh, as we do that. So to help us as we, uh, we look to reach out to our neighbors, we will be sending out a mail that's got that little card um, that will help us. We can put our name and your details on there and you can pop it into the mailbox of your neighbor and you can make yourself available to be a real blessing there and help them uh, know Jesus as we do that as well. Great. So I know that Naomi is part of a neighborhood. Watch with me and she sent a little thing saying, can we help? Go first. We're a great church. I, I believe we've got strong foundations. I believe that there's great community. And even though this pandemic wants to uh, undermine those, I believe we're gonna come out of it stronger and better. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to click the little bell on the, on the YouTube channel so you get a notification when we post video content because we don't wanna clog up your phones. And hey, have a great week. Keep safe and keep in the love of God. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha.